Reports are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have opened talks with Leicester and England midfielder James Madison. Harry Redknapp has come out and said that he thinks that Harry Kane will stay at Tottenham beyond this summer. Poster Coglu has sent a message to the Spurs fans and said, I really am looking forward to the task ahead. And Daniel Levy has come out and said, we wanted a coach who would understand what we really wanted as a football club. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another episode of Tottenham News, but I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. So let's start by talking about a message from our new head coach, Ange Postacoglu. He sent a message to the Tottenham Hotspur fans on Friday. It states, hi everyone, it's great to finally get started as the manager of this great football club. I'm really looking forward to our task ahead. I think it's an exciting opportunity for us to now set off in a new direction, play football and create an environment that embodies the values and traditions of this fantastic football club. Hopefully a team you can be proud of and more importantly, get excited by. I can assure you that right through pre-season we won't leave any stone unturned, myself, the staff and the players, to make sure that when the league comes around you'll be as excited as I am about the season ahead. I really am looking forward to seeing everyone at the stadium, in particular at our first home game and look forward to the journey ahead. Now, on Friday, Tottenham Hotspur chairman Daniel Levy spoke to a number of members of the new fan advisory board. Talking about the appointment of Ange Postacoglu, uh, Daniel Levy said, we made a conscious decision that we wanted a coach who would understand what we really wanted as a club, which was to play attacking football to enable everyone to enjoy coming to a match and be entertained, and also someone who understood the importance of the academy. Daniel Levy then went on to talk about player recruitment and said the notion that Tottenham haven't backed certain managers is incorrect. We're currently paying the price, perhaps, where some of the acquisitions have not turned out as we had hoped. Former Tottenham Hotspur head coach Harry Redknapp has come out and said that he thinks that Harry Kane will stay at Spurs beyond this summer. He said, I think he's a cert to stay. That's my opinion. I don't see him going. Manchester City are not there anymore. They have Erling Haaland. Where is he going to go that is better than Tottenham? It's not easy. He's not going to go to Arsenal. He's not going to go to Chelsea. And Manchester United is obviously a great club, but so are Tottenham. What a stadium may be the best football stadium in the world. Great training facilities. I think he's sure to stay and he'll be looking for them to bring in a few players. If they do that, they could be bang in there next year. Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano stated on Friday that Tottenham and Newcastle are into the race to sign Leicester and England midfielder James Madison. He is set to leave Leicester this summer. Negotiations will take place soon. Ange Postacoglu has asked for Madison, but Newcastle are working on this deal since last summer. Now, my thoughts on all of the stories in today's episode. Let's start by talking about the short video message that was put out by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, Ange Postacoglu, uh, talking to the Tottenham Hotspur fans and giving us a positive message. I tell you what, these last few days as a Spurs fan, we have felt some excitement again. It has been absolutely brilliant these last few days. I know when Ange Postacoglu was initially appointed, there were a lot of doubters. There still are some doubters. Um, but when people have done their research on Postacoglu, his career, uh, his philosophy, what he stands for, what he will bring to this football club, the, entertain the entertaining style that he will bring to this football club, the excitement has really grown these past few days. Lots of people... Um, including myself, um, we've gone from feeling like, you know, cannot wait for the season to be over to now looking, when are the fixtures coming out? Next Thursday, by the way. Um, and, you know, I cannot wait for pre-season to start now. I cannot wait to see what Postacoglu's football is going to be like. Uh, his style at Tottenham, I cannot wait to see what that's going to be like. I cannot wait to see what players he's going to bring in, what players he's going to offload, what players he doesn't fancy at the club. You know, 
a major rebuild is needed this summer. But I tell you what, this positivity from our new head coach, I think has been absolutely fantastic. It's been a breath of fresh air and I cannot wait to see him start in the job. Now, my thoughts on Daniel Levy's comments. Um, I think it was a very, very important decision from him and every single board member to get this appointment right. Uh, a manager or a head coach, should I say, um, you know, someone to come in and bring us entertaining football because a lot of Spurs fans have been very, very frustrated. A lot have felt a lot of anger as well. Uh, the fact that we haven't uh, had results, we haven't delivered trophies, we haven't had success. Um, but what is so important to most Spurs fans is the way that we play um, to entertain the fans. And it's fair to say, since Maurizio Pochettino was sacked in 2019, we have not been entertained as Tottenham Hotspur fans. Posta Coglu's football promises to be entertaining. Uh, he's been entertaining fans all over the place. Wherever he's gone, he's entertained the fans and he has been successful. So I'm hoping... Uh, that the entertaining football is going to be back at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and beyond because uh, Postacoglu, um, you know, every time I've done research on him, I've seen him play entertaining football and the fans absolutely rave about his style, uh, rave about how many goals his teams score, the chances that they create and uh, that is what we want to see as Tottenham Hotspur fans. Daniel Levy's comments on player recruitment. I think that the recruitment at the club, you know, particularly in recent seasons, has been extremely poor. Um, I get the fact that we have spent money. Um, let me give a, a very, very easy example. £100 million pounds on Tongi on Dombele and Giovanni Lo Celso, and they haven't worked out. We've ended up sending both of those players out on loan. And other teams have had, uh, you know, more out of them uh, than what we have, and we've paid £100 million for the pair of them. Um, that is just two examples. Um, Brian Hill, another one, you know, we've, we've spent a lot of money, gave Eric Lamella away as well, and uh, he has spent the majority of his uh, time at Tottenham, away from Tottenham, um, on loan, and been very successful and won trophies um, elsewhere. Um, so, yes, we have spent money, recruitment has been very bad, um, but I wouldn't agree with Daniel Levy's comments the fact that um, you know Spurs haven't backed certain managers um, because we didn't back Maurizio Pochettino. 518 days without spending a penny in multiple transfer windows and he took us to a Champions League final um, having not spent money in all of that time. And I always look back and will always look back thinking what if uh, someone like Pochettino was fully backed. Um, and the other thing is when we've been very close um, when we've had a fantastic team, a fantastic uh, squad. We've been a couple of players away from really, really competing, really, really pushing other teams uh, for top honours. You know, Premier League title a couple of years ago. We're a couple of players away, in my opinion. We should have done more in transfer windows to help the head coaches or managers at that time. So I do think, and I know football fans will always say, football fans will always say this. We need an, an extra player. We need an extra couple of players. I'm sure the managers do as well. Um, but, you know, we could have really pushed on. We could have perhaps been really successful had we just invested that little bit more money and given the head coaches what they needed. But I think Daniel Levy certainly needs to be very ruthless this summer and uh, probably rip up the contracts of a couple of players. Um, we need to offload a number of players. This is a massive project for Ange Postacoglu and uh, I think that Daniel Levy really needs to back um, our new head coach now by you know, just offloading some of these players. Even if we lose money on some of these players, it has to be done. And then we have to bring in players that he wants. Um, this whole thing, and I think it frustrated a lot of Spurs fans, certainly last season under Antonio Conte. Um, Dan Juma, a club signing, didn't get that much game time at all. Um, Jed Spence, a club signing, didn't get that much game time at all, was then shipped off to Wren. That was unsuccessful as well. Um, we do not want to be in this position again. The head coach, in my opinion, really, really must have a massive say in the recruitment process and the players that, that Tottenham Hotspur bring in.
Now, Harry Redknapp's comments on Harry Kane. Um, I tell you what, in my opinion, I think now that we have signed Postacoglu on a four-year contract, it does show uh, as a football club that perhaps we do want to do things differently. We want to entertain the fans and we want to bring the entertainment uh, and style Back. You know, Harry Kane spoke out a couple of weeks ago about, you know, bringing some of the values back that we had under Maurizio Pochettino. I'll tell you what, what would be absolutely fantastic at the football club um, to show real intent, you know, for the fans and someone like Harry Kane, go and sign someone that is absolutely fantastic. Go and sign a world-class player. Go and make a statement signing um, this summer in the next couple of weeks. Of course, we're still waiting for a director of football to come in. I'm sure that that will happen uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so Postacoglu, when he comes back from his holiday and he officially starts at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on the 1st of July, you know, both of them can work together and Spurs can start this process of offloading players and bringing real quality players in. But go and make that statement signing as soon as possible. Now, my thoughts on the possible signing of James Madison. I tell you what, this would be a great signing for Tottenham Hotspur and Ange Postacoglu, and that would show uh, you know everybody that Tottenham Hotspur are backing the head coach immediately after him being appointed. I think James Madison is a fantastic footballer. I think there is so much more to come from him. And I think that he would be a great player under our new boss. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs. Oh,